Hello, anyone not still living in the 1970s? We interrupt your day to bring you this announcement. Husker Ninja is in the building. Alright guys, we are here today with episode number 4 of the Phoenix Suns Association here on NBA 2K12. And our next game that will be shown on video will be on the road against the Charlotte Bobcats. But before we do that, I wanted to recap the first, I guess, almost month and a half of the season so far. You can see our current record going into the game against Charlotte is 8-12. and They are also 8-12. and Um... But, you know, we opened up after the Thunder loss with a 96-70 win over the Lakers. Batum had 15, Hickson had 14, uh, Gortat and Martin and Lawson also had double figures. Then we beat the Trailblazers 107-97, Batum had 18, Lawson had 16, 15 for Thornton, and then we got pounded by the Grizzlies, Thornton had 26. Uh, Lawson had 11, then we got hammered by the Timberwolves as well, Hickson had 20, Batum had 18, Lawson had 16, no one else was in double figures, and so you know that was a little bit of a struggle, then we beat, no actually we lost to the Pacers 97-85, Thornton had 22, Hickson and Lawson both had 12, no one else was in double figures. And then we beat the Bucks 110 100, 20 for Batum, 16 for Lopez and Hickson, uh, 15 for Thornton. Hickson also had 11 boards, so he had a double double in the win. Lawson had 10 points. And then we lost to the Pistons. Thornton had 19. Lawson had 14. I think that was Batum said had 11. I don't know. You can check the exact scores yourselves, but Thornton had 20 and a 118 90 win over the. Raptors, then we lost the Bulls by 5, Thornton had 22, Lawson 16, 13 for Hickson and Batum. And so I'm going to try and keep you updated on the leading scorers. Then we lost to the Knicks as Batum less in scoring that game. I think he had like 15. Uh, then we beat the Hornets and Thornton had 28 points, Batum had 19, Lawson had 11. And you can pause the individual box scores if you want to see more. Then we beat the Pacers. I know it was Lawson had 20, I believe, to lead the team. Uh, Thornton also had quite a few. That was 20 for Hickson and a 106-102 win over the Mavericks. That was after the Clippers lost. Then we beat the Spurs. And then we got pounded by the Mavericks, 97-76. Uh, to 76. Yeah, absolutely hammered. Lost to the Warriors, 119-114. 19 for Hickson, 17 for Thornton. And then we lost to the Magic, 96-76. Gortat had 12. Hickson had 12. Lawson had 12. And they all led the team in scoring. Then we lost to the Nets, 99-92. And that puts us at a seven-game, or not, a five-game losing streak, sorry, as we will go into the Charlotte game having lost five straight. Now we will check a look at the trades that have been going on in the league and see the Rockets... Uh, move Jordan Hill for Jordan Farmar, and a name I'm not even going to try to pronounce. I believe that was Gaines is his last name. Pistons traded Jake, Jason Maxiel and Austin Day for Damian James and Brandon Wright from the Nets. And the Bucks traded Chris Douglas Roberts and Udrow to the uh, um, to the Ra or Rockets. And we're just real quick running through the points per game leaders, the rebounding leaders. Just so you can kind of see how all the players are doing so far. Uh, Lawson's the only one averaging more than two assists a game. Batum's got 105. No one else is averaging more than one. That's probably why we're partly why we're terrible. We're not getting any assists outside of Lawson and sometimes Batum, I guess. Uh, we have four guys averaging at least one block per game. Gortat's shooting 60.8% from the field, five or 54.4 for Lawson. And Batum 51.7, Hickson shooting 42, Lopez 41.5, Thornton 38.2. Uh, 
Uh, move on to three-point shooting. Gortat's a perfect one, so he must have only taken that one three against the Clippers and made that. 56.3% from deep for Lawson this year. 50.9% for Batum. Uh, 50 even from Dowdle. And Reddick shooting 34.1 from deep. Thornton shooting 29.6% from beyond the arc. That's probably partly why we're struggling. Is we're going to check the free throw percentages now. A 92% for Dowdle. And no one else was over 90, but you know what? That's okay. As next time out, we will take on Charlotte. But this is just a quick recap of the first month and a half, I guess. Uh, that'll do it for me. I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody.